Hey everyone, thank you so much for being here today. My name is Denise. I'm also known as Hey Wig Sister on Instagram and Facebook. We're in my bathroom. That means we're doing a tip video. Today I'm going to put the wig on my head in an updo. And the reason I'm making a video on this is because I shared earlier this week on Instagram this wig in an updo as I was talking about wearing wigs to work and I am suffering from hot flashes, I'm running hot all the time, and so I needed to find hairstyles that I could get through a full work day and not die. <laughs> and I had this in an updo and I had so many women comment on that saying, I sure would love to see how you put it in that updo. So that's what we're here to do today. If you wanna see me put a short-ish bob into an updo, then stick around, we'll do it together. head is called Untold Story by Raquel Welch. It's a heat-friendly synthetic wig. It's in the color Iced Cafe Latte. I do have a video review on YouTube. If you'd like to watch that, I'll make sure it's linked in the description. And I'll give you guys a quick tip. Normally, I film my videos in um, landscape mode on YouTube so that you can see it full screen on any device. But when I'm working in my bathroom, it's not conducive to filming that way, so I film in portrait mode. When I do that, if you are watching on a computer, you're gonna see a skinnier video. If you watch on a mobile device, like a cell phone, maybe even an iPad or a tablet, if you make this full screen, it will take up the full screen of your device. Just a quick little tip. I didn't know that in the beginning when I first started watching videos. All right, let's get to putting this wig into an updo. Let me first tell you that if you're going to wear a wig in an updo and you're gonna be messing with it and pulling on it, it's going to be really helpful to you if you either wear a wig grip or you adhere your wig with some sort of adhesive. I love the hair grip. It's my favorite wig grip at this time for the past year or so. I never ever wore wig grips before I discovered the hair grip. I absolutely love it. It comes in one with a little bit of a lace parting space. If you happen to have a wig that has like a mono part or mono top and it has one that doesn't, it's just all of this velvet material. So I'm just gonna throw the wig grip on. I'm not even gonna pay attention to where the part on my wig is right now because the point is not that. But what, when I put this wig grip on, this is going to stay on my head. It's going to hold the wig on my head, which is gonna make it a lot easier to style it. So my first tip is to make sure your wig is secure. Any wig grip that works for you is great. If you've not found one that works for you, I highly recommend the hair grip. And I do have a video on that. I'll link that in the description as well. And I know somebody's gonna comment, I'm brushing my wig. I know that we're always told with your wigs, only use a wide tooth comb if it's a synthetic. If it's a longer piece, if it's a wavy piece, then I do that. But with these straight styles, I find they, they do better with a brush. This is my favorite brush. It sort of acts like a wide tooth comb because it's really wide. I can link this below. I did just purchase it on Amazon. All right, so I'm not great at this on video. So please forgive me with, with all my awkwardness. But let's talk about the tools that I'm going to use. You need a brush of some sort because unless you can do it really well with your fingers, you might need it to smooth out some pieces. I also like to use a rat tail comb of some sort because normally I like to pull out a little of my bio hair to blend on the sides. If you don't have bio hair to blend, you probably don't need this. Some sort of a clip. I recently purchased these unbelievably cute claw clips with pearls on them. I'll make sure my Amazon store is linked below where I have all of my accessories, headbands, styling tools that I love. And these are in that store. So you can go check them out if you're looking for some sort of a cute blingy accessory. And this is gonna be controversial, hairspray. I have yet to find a synthetic specific or a wig synthetic specific hairspray that actually works. So I have started using this stuff right here by L'Oreal. My husband uses it, so we already have it. This is not alcohol free. You guys, there are so many opinions on what you need to do with your wigs. What you need to do is what you're comfortable with and what works for you. In this type of a style with a shorter wig, I needed something that was gonna hold the hair in place a little bit better, and that's what I used. It's what I was comfortable using. 
I, it did not ruin this wig. I've not washed this wig since I did that with this and it's combing through fine. Do what you're comfortable with. I'm not telling you to do this. I'm telling you that I'm comfortable doing this. So don't come for me. I'm just going to give you guys some ideas and you will have to find your own way. So this is just how I did it the other day. This is not, you know, if you like the hair pulled back more on top, whatever works for you. But the day I did this, my goal was to get, make, to have my hair look decent. This is always, always a fiddling and finagling process for me. And get it off my neck, off my face, off my cheeks, everything, because I just get so hot at work. I'm doing a project for my employer and I normally work from home and I'm copying hundreds of employee files. So I'm sitting at a desk and I'm pulling out hundreds of staples out of sheets. Then I'm organizing them. Then I'm going to, in a copier room and copying all these and it gets really hot. So I needed something that I could stand and having a wig all the way up is what worked for me. Now, that's just a tip in case you're suffering. You can just stop here and put it in a low pony if you don't want to mess with doing an updo. That will work just fine. Your goals when putting a wig up are to make sure that you can't see where the cap ends. So doing this is going to work better with a lace front than with a hard front unless it has bangs. Bangs are great and make updos really easy. You're also going to want to make sure you don't see the bottom kind of where it ends here. So we're gonna talk about a couple of options with that, but before we get there, I need to get this hair up. So I pulled it all back, tried to make sure it's slicked back. Now I'm going to just sort of twist the hair so that I can clip the clip into it. And when I, my phone is the long way, it's hard for me to know if I'm actually in the camera. And I just sort of smooth this out before I stick the clip in, I'm holding it in that twist and I'm just sort of smoothing the hair out. Now, I will fix that bottom in a moment, but the good thing with this wig is it actually comes with some baby hairs already on the bottom, so that helps. Now I'm just gonna clip the clip in. Just like that. Okay, so far so good. Now, I just want to manage all of the hair all around in the way that I want to see it. So like I said, this blends with my bio hair really, really well. And so most of the time when I do this, I don't have to do much. The lace goes all the way down to here and then it transitions into the ear tab and it really sits nice. I mean, can you guys see that? You really can't tell where the wig ends and where my hair begins, but if you could, then I would take this and I would kind of finagle it in there, pull out some of my bio hair, and you can even leave it out like that as baby hair, or then you can take it and sort of tuck it with the wig. Work on however works best for you. Another option, and I have a video where I show how to cut baby hairs into a wig with a thinning razor to get some tendrils to sort of hide the cap. If you feel you need that, then you can use one of these to pull out some of the wig hair and cut some. I will link that video below so that you can go watch it. I'm not gonna do it with this wig because I don't need those. And I'm not gonna ruin a wig that I love just for this video. Well, I wouldn't ruin it, but I don't wear it that way, so I wouldn't want it. Now, the other part where I told you that's important is down here, right along where that cap ends. If you can see your bio hair down here and it blends with the wig, awesome that can help with realism if you have hair that's long enough to pull out on the bottom and then pull up with the wig into the clip that's great too you can absolutely do that and that will also help hide the bottom of the cap if neither of those things are true then what you can do is you can pull out some of the tendrils here and cut some baby hairs in so that they hang down you can pull some out, cut them, and then tuck them behind your ear. Anything that will hide that cap transition. Now, do you see all these little long hairs right here? Those were already in the wig, so I didn't have to cut those at all. And those will hang down and, oops, and hide the cap. 
you may like it, you may not like it. It's, you know, we've all got different opinions. That's fine for me. And then that was it. Now, we've got shorter pieces. This one feels like it's up there just fine. But over here, I feel like I've got some pieces that are at risk of falling out of this whole thing. And it just did, just like I said. So you have a couple of options. If you don't mind that, pull them out on either side and you've got a really cute little look. I didn't want anything hanging in my face. So I could take this and I could tuck it, but then I would have a feeling that I'd be tucking it all day. Or I could take that and I could bobby pin it, but I chose to hairspray the wig. So I took and made sure everything was kind of where I wanted it. And then I just hairsprayed it down just like you would with your bio hair on either side. And then while it was still a little damp, I sort of smoothed it in and then I let it dry. And that stayed all day. I had it on for like nine hours and it stayed perfectly. And that was how I put a short bob, straight bob, into an updo. Like I said earlier, you have to find what will work for you. You may not like these money pieces like that. I didn't mind it. It wasn't quite so stark. I must have incorporated a little bit of the darker pieces the first time. You might not like a really slicked back look. You might not think that is as natural. Pull some hair out, cut some hair. Oop hot flash, <laughs> cut some hair out and just make it so that it's your style. But you can absolutely put, a, I mean, this isn't a long bob. You can do that with shorter bobs. A low bun sort of clippy thing like this works great. A low pony, grab a pony holder and put it in a ponytail. But if you run hot with wigs, having a few pieces that you can pull into styles like this make a huge difference. I did not really even feel this wig on my head for the most part that day. This is a super comfortable cap and getting all the hair like this, I really didn't even feel extra hot. It was really a miracle. So try it if you're struggling. This could be a way to help you get through a long day of wig wearing when your wigs are making you hot. I hope this helped. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you in my next video.